Hi everyone. We are going to find HTML documents with embedded objects. We can look at what happens when your browser downloads a file with embedded objects, i.e., a file that includes other objects, in the example below, image files, that are stored on another server, s. Do the following. Start up your web browser, and make sure your browser's cache is cleared, as preview video. Start up the Wireshark packet sniffer. Enter the following URL into your browser. Your browser should display a short HTML file with two images. These two images are referenced in the base HTML file. That is, the images themselves are not contained in the HTML. Instead, the URLs for the images are contained in the downloaded HTML file. Your browser will have to retrieve these logos from the indicated websites. These are two different web servers inside cs.umass.edu. Stop Wireshark packet capture and enter HTTP in the display filter specification window, so that only captured HTTP messages will be displayed. Now we are going to find How many HTTP GET request messages did your browser send? To which internet addresses were these GET requests sent? My browser sent 4 HTTP GET message requests One each to each for each of the following The initial page The Pearson logo and the image of our 8th edition book cover and favicon image. Can you tell whether your browser downloaded the two images serially? or whether they were downloaded from the two websites in parallel. The browser downloaded the two images in serially. I believe this to be the case because the first image was requested and sent before the second image was requested by the browser. Had they been running in parallel, both files would have been requested then would have returned in the same time period. In this case however, the second image was only requested after the first image came back. <laughs> 